Hello Buzzacals, welcome back to Oxygen Not Included, where our duplicates manage to finish the wiring here on the uh, inside. Um, of course here on the outside, that's still a problem because we are overloading the, the wire there. So, we will have to figure that out sometime. Um, one thing that I can now show you is that the, the gas, the oxygen that goes in here now has above 20 degrees as opposed to uh, around 0 degrees at the beginning of the last episode. And even here where we enter the base we have 14 degrees and when it comes out it's still at 8 degrees so we losing quite a bit of temperature on the way here but that just goes into into our base so it adds to to heating up the base so Last time we also discovered we have a gold volcano uh, up there and that's what we want to tackle in this episode. So let's let's get up here and let's dig that out. Um, we need a ladder there. We will dig through here, uh, all the way over there, uh, also finish here off, and then somehow come up here. And I did a bit of, uh, of sinking in between. Um, the what we can gain from this uh, this volcano aside from uh, from gold of course which is quite good because then we can uh, build our electric wiring out of refined metal uh, which uh, is better for morale uh, and so on um, it's also uh, pot, so we can use that heat in order to heat other things. And the uh, original idea there was that okay, uh, let's uh, let's let's bring that let's bring that uh, into our base, but. I mean, first the gold is molten once it solidifies um, then it's still uh, quite a bit on the warmer side so uh, uh, the duplicates will burn their paws when they try to transport it so transportation of the hot gold um, would only be possible if we can do this through shipping, um, which we only research the uh, auto sweeper, which is the, the first part that we need. But then we also need a duplicate able to build that whole thing. And I think that's still a bit way because we are in constant struggle with our calories with only four duplicates so we have to continually work on getting more calories out of our base and i think that's probably through ranching um because Farming will uh, require us to uh, to heat things up. Uh, heating things up uh, will require um, heat sources. 
will require power and we do not yet have something sustainable set up looking here at the coal um, I think it is going up slightly uh, but as you might know from my uh, past playthrough um, coal is not my go-to energy source it's just the fallback if all the uh, other generators uh, do not produce power so and so far we have not come across a viable alternative to coal and coal generator uh, viable alternatives would be uh, uh, natural gas or uh, hydrogen and uh, we will have to see and, and, and sort that out before we can really make uh, big progress with our colony um, so we will see so I will start uh, making my way over there and then we will see where we actually stand. One thing that we can do with regards to our calories is basically build another of these uh, stables and looking at if I dig everything out here for right that's a hundred tiles that's four tiles too big but if it's only four tiles that's something we can easily manage by basically then putting four tiles here somewhere at the top because um, the uh, hatches uh, feel uh, overcrowded based on the, the space they have. This is vertical space but uh, also horizontal. So if we can uh, allow them enough room uh, that would we can have a bit more hatches in here. Right, um, that's at least the plan. One, two, three, four. That should do the trick. And then over here on this side, they are also making uh, their way over. Um, I want to avoid that chlorine patch there we have oxygen so we probably go diagonally here and then over probably enter a bit above that uh, that level um, we, hmm, I was thinking of, of having a, a, a liquid gate but uh, liquids have a tendance, tendency to, uh, to freeze. Um, uh, let's take the Pibex. Because uh, once we have... Um, once we have the, uh, the molten gold in here. This chlorine will evaporate and uh, potentially gas out towards our base which is not something that uh, I am particularly looking forward to but first let's make this Okay. Over 
here and maybe then we can see what's what's up there as well now that we have dug out here we can see over there we have a natural gas geyser which is great so that will probably be our next project but let's first uh, sort this out we want to have a way to get down there then we can dig out the way through here and up there and then we will probably go over here uh, to reach the, the gas geyser and seeing that we have coal power on this side we will probably have our uh, power set up here on this side of the base and also here for the uh, the hatch farm we made quite a bit of progress it's almost done just a few um, uh, roof and uh, and uh, tile pieces are missing there but other than that we are looking great and now we can also see yes this is a proper stable uh, at least as long as uh, they do not break that block and the room becomes too big but that's not really a big issue over here hard digging is is going on which this one is currently dormant which is probably a good thing to to work in there but then we might have to wait a while uh, until we can get the, the, the first gold out um, probably we want to dig out everything here on that side um, I am wondering yeah probably let's put an isolated roof up here so that we do not really heat up um, the, the, the thing around there and also go down there and then of course here on this side we have uh, absolute which is a pretty good isolator anyway and that i think we can leave in we can also do this like that this room is now complete um we will have a look. Yes, we will take the, the, the hatch eggs. Then we have uh, some uh, slick larvae that have hatched, which we will uh, use to supply us with a bit of, uh, of meat. And a bit of oil. That's never really a miss. Right. And um, yeah. Please do yourself a flavor. Yes. Okay. Then I think this should be the next priority for them to work on. And then let's also have a look in here. Uh, what's what's your problem? 
You're a bit blue in the face. Um, let's let's work through through here. Yeah, shall we? And here, field researcher is good, and of course also a uh, uh, building. Those are things that that we need. Let's have another look at you. Ah, you have hypothermia. Thermia. Yes, it is cold. I agree. So. Then, once again, it's just waiting time. Until we can figure things out here. And that's the last piece of progress that we need here. Uh, while this one is still dormant, let's take the uh, opportunity to analyze it. And then down here, we will soon be facing a new problem. Uh, our water running out. So... Let's try to deal with that by placing another water pump over here. Um, which will hopefully uh, solve uh, our, our issues there. We will have to clean up the, the basin a bit. But I hope it's not too bad. Um. Let's take the nutrient bars. And this will probably take a while. But in the end we will know what we have. Um, and yes, this one. all the water we can still mop that up it should give us a bit more and then we also have to make sure to uh, actually we can then do this and extend the, the storage bins all the way over towards the ladder. Up here we have not yet added any uh, hatches because we have uh, set the maximum for each of these to four. So actually here we should wrangle one. Not sure why that's not happening, but but maybe they have they have other things to do. That's that's possible. So let's wait for that cleanup down there and that analysis to finish, and uh, then we know what we have. Uh, dug out ourselves in uh, in this episode and with that Gossman finished the analysis on our uh, gold volcano now we can see uh, it erupts 27 seconds every four 
uh, 644 sec seconds uh, that's a bit more than uh, than five minutes ten minutes ten minutes it is um, and then woo, apparently for the active uh, and uh, for that we need more analysis okay Apparently, that's also something that has changed. What I figured out, uh, if I mop the chlorine up here while it is liquid, I don't have to deal with it when it's in uh, gaseous form. So, that's a plus. Down here, uh, we have our new uh, water basin. And um, we have our first hatch in there. With that, we are at the end of this episode. Hope you join me next time when we will see what we can do with this gas geyser. Until then, goodbye!